Hello, I'm Rena E. Labo, MD, the medical director of the Natural Solutions Foundation, and I have a short, sharp, and very serious message for you. Today is July 11th, and I'm sitting on a beautiful Italian organic farm where I've been spending the week learning a good deal about organic farming and European politics under a blue sky traced with chemtrails. Those chemtrails are dangerous. What I want to tell you about right now is imminently dangerous. According to Reuters, the British News Agency, and according to the World Health Organization, the World Health Organization is poised to declare mandatory vaccination, which will be legally binding for all 194 countries around the world which are signatories to the international health regulations. Now, some weeks ago, the Natural Solutions Foundation published the documentation that shows conclusively that under global pandemic conditions, which is what we have now, because despite the lack of lethality, the WHO has declared swine flu, H1N1, to be a level six pandemic, the highest level of danger pandemic. That means that when it wants to, when it's ready to, WHO can assume political power, security power, health power, and all other power that it chooses to assume around the world. I would say that would be called the New World Order if someone asked me whether I thought it was. But whether you want to call it the New World Order or the United Nations taking control or whatever, let's deal with the issue of the vaccine. It turns out that in 1972, the World Health Organization created a task force which was very active in 1974 to control fertility. That means who lives on this planet through a free vaccine series. Now, some months ago, newly elected President Barack Obama said, tell you what, in the fall, every American is going to have three vaccinations, one for the seasonal flu and two for the swine flu. What swine flu danger are we looking at? None from the disease, despite the assurances that we're about to see a terrible, terrible, terrible pandemic. The danger, my friends, comes from the vaccine. And oh, by the way, the vaccine leader, the prime developer, is Baxter, the very same Baxter International, which contaminated, and it couldn't have been an accident given the level three precautions in the laboratories that are required, which contaminated the seasonal flu vaccines intended for 18 European countries with 72 kilos, a kilo is 2.2 pounds, with 72 kilos of highly infective avian flu. That's interesting. It is not clear that those 72 kilos have been destroyed. They're still infected. They may still be around. Now, Baxter, of course, was under contract to be able to sell its avian flu vaccine if there was an outbreak of avian flu in those countries. What a great business model. A little genocidal, but great business model. So here we are on the verge of the World Health Organization declaring mandatory vaccination, which will be legally binding for 194 countries. So the chances are good that wherever you live, if you're watching this, your country is a signatory. If you go to the link that you see here, you will find the list of countries. If you live there, it's probable that your country is a signatory. The United States certainly is. What does that mean? It means that we have the narrowest window of opportunity to do something about it, to protect our health and to protect our freedom 
all at the same time. How? Demand the right from your federal and state legislators to self-shield. That means, in the event that a pandemic is called, you now have two choices. One, take the vaccine. Bad choice. Two, go into a detention center, a jail, or an incarceration center. Really bad choice. I want you to have a third choice. And the choice is no thanks. Skip the vaccine, skip the incarceration. I will go home and I will spend the period of quarantine in my own home. That's called self shielding. So you better start laying up a supply of water. Glass bubbles are best, of course. You better start laying up a supply of food and of fuel and of the vitamins and of the, the drugs that you need. And you better do it now. But if you don't demand the right to self-shield, that's all meaningless. Why do we think that demanding the right to self-shield will work? Why do we think that pushback of this magnitude works? Simple. Because we have been assured by the office of our best health freedom friend in Congress that with enough support for this idea, our health freedom friend will introduce a bill in Congress saying you have the right to say no to vaccines or incarceration. If you don't want that right, if you trust the government, you need your meds adjusted. If you don't trust the government, if you don't believe that the swine flu will be any safer than the Gardasil vaccine and will be a whole lot worse, then you need to go to this website now. And you need to take this action now. And then make sure that there's one of these action items submitted for every member of your family. And then comes the important part. Activate, motivate everybody you know. Everybody on your email list, everybody you work with, everybody at your health food store, everybody in your kids' playgroup or basketball team. Let them know that the choices are, right now, mandatory vaccination, coming down the pipe, or mandatory incarceration. The law is there. We don't want it. We want a third choice. Thanks, no. I'll stay home. My kids will play computer games. They might even talk to each other, and they might talk to me. Who knows? Uh, and I'll commute from home. Or I won't. The point is, I will stay alive. Rima Ilebo, MD, Medical Director of the Natural Solutions Foundation. This is urgent. Please spread the video and please go to the Natural Solutions Foundation sites, www.healthfreedomusa.org and www.globalhealthfreedom. Read the substantiating documents, read the white paper under self-shielding, take action. If you don't, you'll wish you had. And we don't want to see that. We want you robust, live, healthy, and in charge of your own health and freedom. Thanks.